Since the attack on the Westgate Santa, there has been a lot of speculation about who the attackers were. The Kenyan authorities have said nothing officially yet. This has not yet been confirmed, but several sources in Somalia have now told me they know who the leader of the attack was. They say he was using the name Omar or Omeir, that he's Kenyan, and that authorities there were reportedly concerned about his links to Al-Shabaab. A Christian convert to Islam, a former member of Kenyan Special Forces, who went to Somalia in 2005, and I am told joined the Camboni militant Islamist group that later merged with Al-Shabaab. I filmed with the Camboni five years ago. The sources tell me he used to teach Al-Shabaab fighters martial arts and boxing at this training camp. They say he fell out with Al-Shabaab leadership. He thought they were lacking ambition. But when I spoke to them today, Al-Shabaab's spokesman said this was an official operation planned and carried out by Al-Shabaab leadership. It's possible they will release martyrdom videos, and until they do, they won't confirm any names. The other fighter, I am told, is linked to the attack, goes under the name Ghatab. He is Somali. He used to work in an Islamic bookshop in the Nairobi suburb of Eastleigh. He was arrested and imprisoned in Somalia, where he was reportedly tortured in a CIA prison near the airport. When he was released, he crossed into Al-Shabaab territory. Overnight, Al-Shabaab's leader released an audio recording casting the Westgate massacre as an epic battle and warned of further attacks. The attack at Westgate Mall was to torment the Kenyan leaders who've impulsively invaded the Islamic Wilayat. It was also a retribution against the Western states that supported the Kenyan invasion and are spilling the blood of innocent Muslims in order to pave the way for their mineral companies. So make your choice today and withdraw all your forces from the Islamic Wilayat. Otherwise be prepared for an abundance of blood that will be spilt in your country, economic downfall and displacement. Today, an arrest warrant was issued on behalf of the Kenyans for Samantha Luthway, the widow of one of the 7-7 seven -seven bombers. It's not to do with the Westgate attack, she is accused of possessing explosives two years ago. Today, South African authorities say they had records of her entering and leaving the country. She first uh, entered South Africa in July 2008 and uh, subsequent to that on more than one occasion. And as I said, the last record we have of her uh, uh, using the passport is uh, February 2011. Samantha Luthway has been on the run for six years. Earlier this year, I visited the house where she is believed to have hidden out. If Luthway was involved, the British and Kenyans will have to start sharing more information. <laughs> Channel 4 News has learned since the new Kenyan president, Uhuru Kenyatta, was elected in April. British authorities have held back because of Kenyatta's poor human rights record. <laughs> One thing is certain, Al-Shabaab's media operation is very sophisticated, so it's very likely we will be finding out more in the days to come. <laughs>